Welcome back, viewers. Hope you've been enjoying the broadcast so far. Right now, we have the editorial update and the social media update just to get a feel of what is happening on ground. As you know, we have a team in Lagos, Abuja, and different parts of Nigeria covering the elections. But we also want to hear from our viewers and our readers. And the social media update is going to address that. With me is Dayo from the social media team and Declan from the editorial team. Dayo, do you think there has been enough feedback as there was um, during the presidential elections? Um, if I have to go by what we experienced last week on social media, yeah. there was obviously more traffic and mm. people were more engaged. But based on what I've noticed this morning or so far during the elections in Nigeria, not too many people are really involved. And it's very evident with the kind of tweets you see, the messages on Instagram, people are saying, oh, well, I came out to vote, but I mean, I didn't see as much people as I saw last week. Yeah. So I think majority of the Nigerians are not as pumped as they were for the presidential elections, and that's quite evident. And of course, we um, have some very interesting things on Twitter as well, some things that I saw that were very, very interesting. <laughs> okay. uh, the Punch newspapers actually had this and says that uh, voters take to their heels as armed thugs cart away ballot boxes and polling units in a quiet bomb. Now, it's very, I don't know why this is happening, but I, Anik already said that he already put so much in place with regards to security. Yeah. And if you're having armed thugs carting away with the ballot boxes, then there's a problem. And there was a follow-up of that same type of incidents in um, in Lagos, in Ajirami, if I hope I got that right. Yeah. And this time, it's it's you can see the picture of an INEC official with thumb-printed ballot papers, wow. which I find very disturbing. I mean, why should why should he be in, in possession of those um, ballot, ballot papers? papers? And they've been thumbprinted on already. So it just goes to show that there's a bit of you know discrepancies here and there that they need, really really need to focus on. Yeah. And um, there's another picture as well of of um, someone saying fighting over money shared by politicians in my area, which led to breaking of bottles, and to I don't know what the other part means, but. I, I really don't feel the, the politicians are supposed to be doing this at this point, sharing money mm. just to buy votes. You're only mm. going to stir up lots of confusion, and that's already evident, and that's what people are tweeting out. So yeah. as much as people are not you know, talking about, oh, I'm voting for this person like they did last week, they are concerned about the, the state of security in yeah. certain areas. Yeah. And I guess that's um, also evident. Then also, um, an only personality tools in Lagos says, all done, much easier process than two weeks ago. Sadly, less people came out today than... For the, less people came out today than for the presidential elections. Vote not fight. She says mm. she has the vote not fight yeah, caption as well. So, fight. meaning come out, vote, keep it peaceful, and we'll, we'll just hope to get the results as soon as we can. Yeah. Did we get any feedback regarding what states INEC should focus the pay the most attention to? I know that INEC um, deployed a special security troop to River State. Okay. You okay. know, based on what happened last week, yeah. they don't want that same incidents to occur again so yeah. there's a very huge military presence in that state so i know they'll be focusing on that one i know kano kaduna are also states that they're focusing on okay but um as reports emerge um, i'll i'll keep you posted thank you thank you Daya. so declan do we have updates i'm sure we do yeah there so there is there's quite a few updates um and of course um similar to the update that editorial gave about an hour ago uh there are concerns with um uh, not just insecurity uh, but also voter turnout across the country. Voter mm. turnout across the country seems to be quite low, mm. particularly compared to uh, presidential, the, presidential. the presidential races yeah. uh, two weeks ago. Um, we received uh, a report of a ballot box thief in Plateau State who was shot dead by the police, and so that's one report that we are currently reporting on and, and following up with information for wow. SaharaReporters.com. Okay. Uh, we've also uh, reported that the president has ordered the AIG out of River State and has accused him of being anti-PDP. And so the concern or the commentating, uh, the commentary around this is uh, that the presidency is somehow involved with uh, manipulating the security infrastructure in River State in order to secure some kind of victory for candidates running on the PDP ticket. Right, that's that's upsetting. And there was some news on SaharaReporters.com about um, Obanikoro's son. Yeah, in exactly. Um, so Babajide, uh, sorry, Babajida Obanikoro, uh, he was caught um, allegedly bribing constituents and handing out money, similar to 
the report that uh, Dio just gave. So handing out money to constituents uh, at a polling unit, and mm. he was escorted by the police. And we have video yeah. evidence uh, okay. of that for the viewers. If we can have the video of the arrest of Obani Korosan up now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you... Yeah. No, 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 no. 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 You are being silly. You are the one that's supposed to grow. You are the one that's supposed to grow. Wait, it's not supposed to be here. Uh, it's not supposed to be here. Uh, it's a candidate. What's up? Wow, that's that's something. So do you know the background story to that? So we, we haven't ascertained all the background information except to say that um, the police had seen him handing out money to constituents at the polling unit or around the polling unit, which is in violation of, of electoral, electoral laws, laws in Nigeria. Okay. Um, as you can see, there was, there was a confrontation um, a, between... Uh, Mr. Obani Koro and the security um, operative, po yeah, posted at the at the polling center, uh, as well as you, if you notice, um, there was some. I think he struck the lady with uh, his door. So if you saw the lady yelling at him yeah. in white as he was going back into his his uh, very nice, probably air conditioned vehicle, <laughs> he wanted to make sure that he he struck somebody with the door uh, before that took yeah. uh, before uh, he was uh, unceremoniously um, escorted away by wow. the police. And I think that that's that's it. You can look at this in several through several prisons. I think the first one is okay. Politicians, in in particular, politicians of some notoriety like Obani Koro, um, are handing out money uh, to constituents, which is which is a problem. But then also we can look at it that the security uh, officials did catch this, and despite his notoriety, looks like they were carrying out their job, which yeah. is to make sure that 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 the polling units were not compromised yeah. either by security or by uh, illicit means. Yeah, yeah. Um, so so that was that was uh, one of the leading stories. Um, we also have. Um, Quite a few updates from River State. So I was going to ask about mm -hmm. River State. Has it been mm -hmm. peaceful? And it, it seems it seems to be it's safe to say it has not been a peaceful election. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want uh, to send the message that all of River State is in turmoil, but okay. certainly the the level of violence. So so the most significant cases of violence in River State. Uh, 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 it, in, in Nigeria has been in River State. If we look at this image um, on the screen, this is a uh, image of the national, uh, the Calabari National College in River State, uh, oh. in the Asari Toro LGA, and no elections are taking place in this area because of this fire. Um, the cause of the fire um, is not known at this time, but it's something we we are reporting on. Mm. Uh, there were also reports of PDP supporters coercing people to vote in River State. Uh, and very unfortunately, we have a report uh, of a beheading in River State. Oh, so wow. it's looking like violence is intensifying, at least in certain parts of the state. Yeah. Um, there were a, there was uh, an, AP so, an APC voter shot on Saturday by uh, allegedly PDP-sponsored thugs. Wow. Um, oh. And what's an interesting dynamic to this story is evidently uh, Governor Amechi is the one who rescued this, this HPC supporter. Wow. Um, so we're hoping to have Governor Amechi um, on Join the show us. later today, yeah. and maybe he can elaborate on the circumstances around uh, this particular story. Wow. Uh, last, um, there have been fake policemen with red berets arrested by the military patrol team at, um, at LMA uh, LGA in River State. Okay. Um, so again, um, it seems like there is compromise, but it also feels as though there are a number of security agencies also carrying out their duty. And I want to make sure that we really illustrate that. Right? Okay. Too oftentimes, I think the security infrastructure gets painted in a broad brush. Yes. And it's true that there are gross abuses within a lot of these agencies. But there are also people who, who are authentically trying to do their job. Hmm. Have there yeah. re been reports from other states? Because I know we're focusing on rivers, but mm -hmm. I know the hot spots... Mm -hmm. Hotspots in quotes were like Lagos State, mm -hmm. Kaduna, and well, Rivers. Mm -hmm. We've talked about Rivers. Has there yeah. been feedback from Lagos State? So the the most significant reports of violence have not been from from Lagos or Kaduna. Okay. Um, the Plateau State, um, Akwa Ibom, had have has had some 
instances of um, of violence and, and the use of thugs, but but certainly uh, the most intense violence uh, made known at this point is in River State. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay, viewers, um, that was our social media and editorial updates. To um, comment on our social media platforms, just go to at Sahara Reporters on Facebook and at Sahara TV One on Twitter. We will give you updates in on the hour. Stay tuned. We have a great show lined up for you.